G'day my friends, Marty Lee here from martysgarden.com.au. We've got a great video for you today because it's about the hungry bin. I'm loving the hungry bin because I'm getting lots of worms, lots of castings when I harvest, and it's working pretty well. But I do think they could improve it just a little here and there. So what we're going to do is show you the harvest of the fresh castings and talk a bit about the hungry bin, the good and the bad, and maybe the ugly. Marty's garden is all about compost worms, composting, farming worms indoors and out, and growing some of the most awesome food around. You can learn how by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Welcome world to the Marty's Garden Show. So we've got the hungry bin. We're ready to do our third harvest of the castings. Now, the second one I didn't show on the show because I, I just really didn't have time to do that. And I thought we need to wait a bit longer. Hungry Bean reached out to me and said that over time, these castings will get better. And people that have been using these type of worm farms or Hungry Bins have said exactly the same thing to me. So I think the third harvest should be much better. So I'm going to get down. There's a couple of clips down there. It is a bit tricky, but it's much easier than getting them out of the plastic bin sometimes. So I'll get down on my knees here into the dirt, as us gardeners do. And it does, it is, it is quite heavy. I just want to make sure. It, and it is a bit tricky. I would say for older people, this farm can be a bit of a, a bit annoying because um, the clips. If you don't get the clips right, they hook underneath, and there we go. So, and they hold a lot of moisture. The castings, because all the moisture is going down. So we've got to get that clip out. So all the moisture is going down into the bottom here. Obviously, it's draining out into the bottom catchment. Now. Keep in mind that this is all sawdust and coffee. So that was the bedding. And it definitely doesn't look like sawdust. And it definitely doesn't look like coffee, right? So it's it's much better than that first harvest. You can see that it's starting to get that shiny surface on it. The clay look. So, yeah, we've got like probably 80% casting in here now. And the rest is basically compost. So you can use this. This is great stuff, really. And you can see there's lots of little baby worms through it. So if Karen steps back a bit, we'll see if we can get that on there. So the wisps, does that show up, Karen? Yeah. You can hear the uh, lorikeets in the background. We've got some baby lorikeets because it's spring and they've been fighting a bit. They're quite noisy. So I can't see any cocoons in here. So they're not coming down here and laying. It's just little ones escaping through, I would say. And now that weighs quite a lot, and it's not too wet. So I'm definitely going to be using that uh, in the garden. Let's open up the hungry bin, and I'll show you what's going on in there. I've got a mixture of food in here at the moment. A bit of newspaper, some lettuce, a little bit of carrot. I'm really starting to mix up the food now. I've got some coffee in here. You can smell it as well. And I'm starting to create layers. And what I want to do is I was originally just feeding them uh, with a, like a carbohydrate food. And we're getting lots of little baby ones. Look at that. Coming into spring, we're getting an explosion of little worms. And if you're wondering what this material is here, this is actually sugar cane. So you can use the same thing as straw, pea straw, all those type of things. And... I'm developing this because it's coming into spring. I want to have this like a humusy bedding for them to lay lots of eggs in. Now they've been laying lots of eggs in this anyway. But I come along and I grab a few handfuls to sell to people that turn up. So I'm really mixing it up in here and creating these layers of food for the springtime and getting an action of, of worms together. And uh, you can see there's all different sizes in there, right? We'll put them back. Really happy with the hungry bin. And it's really, it's really cool that they reached out to me as well. I've had a couple of companies reach out to me lately. And 
it goes to show that they really start to care about their product. And so that's that's really great. Who knows where the hungry bin's gonna go next? So I hope they actually work on improving the bin somehow, just by maybe putting some more airflow grids or things in the side to allow more air to go through uh, into here, like a heavy grid. Um, you always lose a few worms anyway, and I think the if you can get more airflow into this system, it would definitely be improvement. And I love how you can catch the the leachate down below. And uh, this time I'm just going to put it back in because I've got some fresh coffee in there. And I'm trying to wet that fresh coffee down. And put that back through. So we've got a... Oh, it's quite heavy. We've got a heap of castings here. Well, it's almost like a 70% casting, as I was saying, in compost, which is really good because there's a lot of live biology in it at the moment. So really stoked to have this. And um, I'm going to go and yeah, use it to grow more seedlings and things. So look at that, you can see there's castings there. That's pretty cool, some little worms in here. I'm just gonna spread this through, this is my seed raising mix. And I'll come through and remove any heavy stuff a bit later. All right, so I'll get back to that in a while. So there we go, another Hungry Bin worm casting harvest. And Hungry Bin, if you're watching this, I'd appreciate if you reached out to me. Maybe you can throw me a few more bins so I can run the trials even further. Can't hurt to ask, right? What do you reckon, guys? Comment down below if Hungry Bin should send me a few more bins. Anyway, if you want to learn more about worm farming, head over to martysgarden.com.au and do the free worm farming crash course over there. It's pretty cool and it'll get you up and running really quickly. Have a great day. Have a garden. We'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.